It's the time of year when Muslims around the world observe Ramadan by fasting during daytime for one month. Recently, Belmont Muslim friends invited a diverse group of community members to attend their Breaking Fast meal gathering at the First Church in Belmont. Citizen journalist Komoko Kai Whitelaw reports. Well, we started the, what they call the day with a recitation of the uh, Holy Quran. Ramadan is, uh, is essentially the ninth month of the Muslim calendar. We follow the lunar calendar. We fast for one month. You fast from uh, an hour before uh, sunrise up to sunset. Uh, the objective of the fast is to basically uh, cleanse you yourself spiritually and to also give uh, back to the community and bring the community uh, back together. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. At uh, sunset, uh, there's a call to prayer which we call the Azan. Uh, and so in conjunction with the Azan, you break the fast typically with something sweet. In this case, culturally, we follow the uh, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, where he uh, broke his fast uh, using a date. And date is, you know, high with potassium, with sugar, and so it actually gives you a surge of energy. Growing up, Ramadan was known as fun for kids, spending time with the family and having a feast. But when I moved here, all the fun aspects went away. And for a while, I never looked forward to Ramadan. Eventually, you find joy in many different forms. You end up finding joy by worshiping, group prayers, and feeling accomplished after fasting. To say that Ramadan is just a month of fasting and worshiping is a disservice to what it truly is. Thank you. Ramadan to me is a time to be grateful. It's to reflect on what you have, and fasting makes you think about how much you actually have compared to people out there who have not good food or they don't have enough water. I have so much that I can share with others. And I feel like that's part of Ramadan, giving to others. Allah. So we pray five times a day. When we're praying, it's customary to pray in congregation where you come within, whether within your family or within a community. So the direction of prayer is Mecca, uh, which is the uh, epicenter of, uh, of all Muslims. Uh, we'll do uh, some basic salutation to, to, to Allah, which is uh, the Arabic version of the God. Uh, and we say God is great every time we transition. And we bow and we prostrate which are the uh, functions or the actions for, for the prayer. But Ramadan isn't exclusively for Muslims. This month has given me the opportunity to share with my non-Muslim friends. I've had them fast for a day and eat niftar with me that night, and they have willingly and enthusiastically participated. And it was really wonderful to, it's really wonderful to experience that with them and to share something so personal to me with my friends. And essentially, we ended with uh, what we call uh, Eid celebration. Depending on different cultures, whether you're in the Middle East, uh, Southeast Asia, or in America, you typically cook, uh, you know, foods that uh, uh, that you you, you reminisce in, and you usually uh, call your uh, friends and family uh, to break fast together with you. So in today, we had Palestinian food. In you know, in other uh, events, it could be any other food. It could be American food, obviously. We invited the community because Ramadan is not only for us to get closer within the Muslim community, but also with, uh, with the larger community. You know, you see all the town leaders choosing to be here today because it's important to, for, to send the message that yes, everybody's part of our community and we value every tradition in our community.
in a majority culture where you're the minority, it is really, it's hard to describe what that feeling is like to feel that you are seen and known and that you belong. So I thank all of you for being here and to the town of Belmont for welcoming us and knowing that we are you. There's no others, it's just us, so.